Hey there friends, wanted to do a quick update on our efforts to ship some generators via Grindstone. We're sending them through Grindstone up to the North Carolina, Tennessee areas. We reached out to them knowing that a week later, again, we're down here in South Louisiana, so we've dealt with these unfortunately before. And a lot of times there's a ton of the obvious stuff that gets donated. And sometimes there are other things that aren't fulfilled because they're not quite so obvious or they might be bigger ticket items. So we reached out to Grindstone Ministries this week and they told us that the number one thing that they are not receiving up there is generators. And I know that's an expensive item, but what we've done is locally, we've gone around and we've located generators, packed them up. We're gonna be shipping them out Thursday morning up to the Johnson City areas where we plan to bring them, Johnson City, Tennessee. And we're also taking some donations. We weren't expecting to take donations, but when we realized obviously the cost of these generators, we felt like, well, you know what? Some people want to give, they just don't have that to give. And we understand that. I mean, the economy's in the dumps right now. I certainly get that. So what we've done is we've opened up my PayPal, the Legally Armed America PayPal. The email address is paul at legallyarmedamerica.com. And if you wanna make a donation, doesn't matter how big or small it is, that's, it, we're not asking for a specific amount. It's just a matter of helping. And once we get enough, we'll purchase, and this is between today and tomorrow because these things go out Thursday. Once we get enough, we'll purchase another generator so that we can ship them up there because those generators are hard to come by up there. That whole region up there is inundated with the folks who have picked and chosen the different things that they needed. And generators are definitely at the top of that list. It's not like a, a, a Lowe's or a Home Depot are gonna have 500 of those. They may have 20 or 30. You know, so we're doing our best to locate these and procure these from outside the area, bring them into the area. Um, I would like to point out some of the people who have really helped out. Johnson Law Firm, Gator Services and Rentals, Planet Pools, Chick-fil-A, Capstone Realty Team, oh, excuse me, Capstone Reality Team. And I want to point out some of the viewers of Legally Armed America that have really stepped up. And this is not to eliminate anybody else because a lot of you are donating, but Craig, Todd, Bradley, Ron, Josh, Sandy, Cindy also, Sandy and Cindy, two different names, and a few of you, other, a few of the other people out there that watch Legally Owned America have kicked in. We really appreciate that, guys. Um, I don't expect that. You guys have reached out to me and said, what can we do to donate? I'm not asking for that from you guys because I know the economy sucks right now. That's really primarily why we were looking at business owners out there. Of course, it's tough for business owners too. But we were looking for business owners feeling like they had more expendable cash out there because I don't want to burden the American people in such a horrible economy right now. But people have asked. People emailed me. People commented down below in the comment section. Hey, how can I donate? I can't send a generator. I don't have enough money to donate for our generator. But I want to give something. And I appreciate that very much. Uh, and again, in spite of the horrible economy that, that we have, people are still generous and it comes from right here. So thank you guys so much for that. We got Milton headed to Florida. I know it's not gonna be the same type of natural disaster because most of it was flooding, not necessarily directly from the hurricane dropping the water, but from the water accumulating and then coming downstream. Uh, with these you know, horrible flash floods. So that's the different type. We're talking about flat terrain down in, uh, in the Florida area. It's probably gonna be mostly wind driven, uh, tidal issues as far as flooding, not necessarily accumulation. And certainly there's no mountains or hills up there. So it's gonna be a completely different type of natural disaster with Milton barreling its way towards Florida. Trying to think of some creative things to do um, in many cases, there are, a di there are different types of needs based on what your geography is. So I know what is needed up in the foothill areas in Appalachia, um, North Carolina, Tennessee areas, it's not gonna be the same as what the people in Florida need. Um, I will say this, any families out there that are lower income families, or if you know some lower income families, single mom, single dad, something like that, that these folks may not have the ability to, um, to get out right? Especially in that Tampa area. If you know somebody who doesn't have the money to evacuate, that should not be your reason for evacuating. I cannot evacuate the entire state of Florida and certainly not the, the, the entire area of Tampa, but if I can help a family out, I would like to. If there's somebody whose family is in need and their reason for not evacuating is simply money, please call me. If it's an old person even, sometimes the older folks don't want to evacuate because they may not have companionship to do that. Again, money to do that. Um, I will vet these people. I will talk to them personally and I will determine whether or not they, I feel like I'm being frauded or scammed. 
my goal is to take it from here and give it to somebody else and get them out of harm's way. We have seen so many hurricanes down here in South Louisiana that looking at the potential strength of this one, I know it went from a five down to a four and it's predicted to go back up to a five. Um, that is super, super dangerous, especially as fast as it intensified before. If it does that and rolls in there, um, if the eye tightens up, just so many variables that can make this thing be super strong, not to mention the spawning of all the different tornadoes on that, that front quadrant of it. So, man, this is probably not one you want to ride out. And I'm not speaking as a professional. I'm telling you as somebody who, who has experienced these before. This is likely one that I might not ride out. I say that, I don't know for sure, but man, it's a tough one, especially in that Tampa area right there on the coast. So if you have a way to reach out to me and, you're, and you either know of or your family or your loved one is not evacuating due simply because of finances, please email me the story, contact information, and everything at paul at legallyarmedamerica.com. Again, paul at legallyarmedamerica.com. You've got roughly 12 to 18 hours maybe. I think this thing is supposed to make landfall in about 24 hours from now, a little bit later than that, I believe. I mean, I haven't checked in the last hour, but I think it was tomorrow evening the thing is supposed to make landfall. So time is of the essence. If you know somebody, please send that email to me and I'll do what I can. I can't guarantee anything. And again, I will vet this process aggressively because I'm not going to be taken. I, there's a lot of fraudsters and unfortunately scams that happen during times like this that take advantage of people's kind hearts and uh, I, I'm gonna do my best to not let that happen but I do want to help somebody out and again I know the economy is crap right now and I don't want to see somebody risk their life simply because they don't have the funding to go out and seek safety and get out of harm's way and I don't I don't understand the point that you're making God save the Queen man I'm sorry I thought this was America